Hey everyone, ChatGPT API is released today, which means now you can use it in your projects. In this video, we will cover the release notes and how you can use the API. Let's quickly start with the page they made the announcement. Here we see the authors and the description about ChatGPT and Whisper. If you don't know Whisper, it's another tool of OpenAI for speech to text. So it enables to use AI tools by just speaking. All right, down here we start with some examples. First off, Snapchat introduced MyAI, which is a chatbot and uses ChatGPT API. So here is a quick video showing the example. And then we see Quizlet with more than 60 million students, and they now introduce QChat, which is an AI tutor. There are more use cases, and these are just to show you some examples. In the end, things you can do with ChatGPT is limitless. OpenAI API is not a new thing, and we had access to use several models. What's new is this GPT 3.5 Turbo model, which is the same model used in the ChatGPT. The price is 10x cheaper than the previous model, so it is $0.002 per 1000 tokens. And tokens can be thought as words, but tokens can also include spaces, so approximately 75 words considered as 100 tokens. Now they have a new endpoint here and a new model name for this release. If you're already using OpenAI services, you can implement this endpoint and the model name and quickly get the ChatGPT responses. Okay, moving forward, here you can see explanations about Whisper API as well, but this video is about ChatGPT, so let's go ahead and build a simple web app with the new endpoint. I am going to use Node.js. If you haven't installed Node.js, you can download from nodejs.org. I created a new folder in my desktop called ChatGPT, and I will clone the OpenAI's starter project. To do that, I'm going to create a new terminal in VS Code, go to desktop, and then go to my ChatGPT folder. This is an empty folder right now. I want to clone the quick start project here so that we don't waste time by setting up files and functions from scratch. I will use this repository to clone, and this is the official OpenAI repository. So I'll copy the URL from here, and back in the terminal, I will say git clone and paste it. Okay, so it is downloaded, and we can check the files with ls command. Let's go inside of that folder, and I want to open it with VS Code. Okay, here we are. This is a name generator project actually, and we will change it a bit to create the ChatGPT clone. But before that, I need to authorize myself with an API key. OpenAI recommends to do that by copying this emv.example file and create new one. So all this command does is create a copy of this file and name it .emv. So here we should give a valid API key. In order to get an API key, you should sign up to OpenAI Platform, click Personal here and View API Keys. And here you can create a new script key. Once you click here, a pop-up appears that shows you the key. But be careful here, if you lose your API key, you cannot see it again. Well, you can always generate new one, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so when you create it, copy and paste here. Alright, next step is to update the OpenAI package. If you check the package.json file here, you can see this version uses OpenAI 3.1. But the new ChatGPT release is in 3.2. So I'm gonna say npm install OpenAI to install the latest version. Okay, you can see it has changed and we are all set. I want to go in index.js and maybe run this project so you can see the outcome, it becomes much clearer. Let me bring my browser also, so that we can see the outcome at the same time. Okay, as I said, this project is originally for name generation and uses text DaVinci method. We will adjust few things now. First off, we are not developing a project about animals anymore, so let's start with state names. I will make this user input and set user input. This animal can be message. And maybe I shouldn't do this manually, but it is too late, so let me change all of the namings here. 
I will change everything includes animals. So let's quickly change the names. And we can also change the title to ChatGPT Quick Start and delete all of the dark images. Also, this header can be ChatGPT Clone. The value of the button can be Generate Response. And I also don't want to use this class here. Maybe we can define some margin just to make it look better. Okay, so these are just to change UI and it's not really important. And we are done, actually. Next step is to use the new API. To do that, we go into generate.js file. All right, let me explain these lines quickly. So we import here OpenAI library, and here is the configuration step that will use your API key. And we can leave all these lines as it is, because we don't want to change them, but we want to change this animal variable here. So we named it uh, in the previous page, message, so let's use that here as well. I will change all of them to message, just like in the previous page. And instead of animal here, we say, please enter a valid prompt. Okay, moving forward, here is the most important part. This code block makes the call to OpenAI for generating a completion action using the DaVinci model. In order to use the new ChatGPT model, we should change this method to create chat completion. And in the model field, we should say GPT-3.5 turbo. Also delete the other parameters. And all we need is a message parameter for now. This will be an array. And I'm going to say role user and content message. So keep in mind that these two parameters are required for this function. But there are also optional parameters, and if you want to check, you can go to check from the documentation. Okay, the response also is a bit different. So previously we get text here, but this time we should say message.content, and that will give us the response text. Let me check if we have anything else to change. We can leave the error cases, and we don't need this function. At the bottom, delete it. And finally, we are ready to go. So let me ask our first prompt. I will say 2 plus 2. It says API key is not configured. So if you don't provide a valid API key, this is the error you will get. Let me enter my API key in the .env file. I will paste my API key directly. And now we can try again. Click generate response and here we have the answer. And this looks like a calculator, so let's ask some difficult question. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask a real ChatGPT question. Let's make it write a paragraph about itself. Wow, it's really quick. I think this is even quicker than the ChatGPT itself, since we are getting the response instantly, instead of waiting for the writing process. Well, let's try one more time. Write a paragraph about why viewers should subscribe this channel. Alright, it seems like it is working. So this is how we can use ChatGPT on your web projects using JavaScript. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.